Welcome to Meg's Motorcycle Journey, where we explore the world on two wheels. This channel will follow me on my journey to become a better rider and explore my love of all things motorcycles. So guys, this is part two of the video of my trip to Daytona. The point of this video is mainly to thank so many people who reached out and tried to help us find a clutch cable for cameraman's bike. I am really grateful for the online community of people who are following my journey. A lot of people reached out, offered to help, called different shops for us, and tried to help us troubleshoot. And for that, I am grateful. So some of the people that helped I wanted to give a shout out to. I also wanted to thank you guys because in the a little over four months that I've had this channel, we've gotten over a million views and that's really exciting. It helps me to be able to fund the upgrades to my motorcycle, to be able to fund trips that I want to go on that I can bring you guys along on and I am so grateful that so many people have been so supportive and wonderful. So we ended up towing cameraman's bike to a shop in Daytona called Crank and Chrome that a lot of you were familiar with and actually a number of people suggested that we go to. The owner Barry of Crank and Chrome had a 70 inch cable that he thought would work. Unfortunately, the breakout required a little bit different cable. So we literally probably called 40 different shops and went to four or five different shops. And I wanted to give some of them a shout out. Um, the folks at Chromeworks tried to help us out. They were fantastic. So I just wanted to say thank you. I have the number, the aftermarket part numbers too. One of the shops that Chromeworks called for us was hog riding, and the owner, Todd, was absolutely fantastic. He went above and beyond to try to help us, so please check them out if you have a chance. I will. I will do some really nice things for them, whatever they need. They I got a squirt gun. <laughs> <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> she don't care. It's not, it's not a CVO, it's just a regular breakout. Called all the people. Then I started looking for a lyric bike for him because we taped the lyric bike and it places all the way down to Rye Bay one day. And... 30,000 miles on it, and I get here and five miles in, it breaks. Nothing's ever broken on that bike. Say she was gonna sit down and have a beer with us here, but we, we have to leave. So, did you pay already? So, what's, your, what's the journey about guys, her riding a motorcycle? Moto, it's my moto vlog, so she does a little bit of everything. If you want. It's on Instagram, I will. On YouTube. Thank you, you all take care. Oh, yes, I did. So, you said this guy's got it. He says they have a something that he thinks will work. He thinks it's an 868, uh, but he thinks that'll still work. Okay, so should we call uh, Barry and ask? We should go there first and see what they have, and okay. then we should call Barry. All right. Well, Barry might be gone, but... It is what it is.
the piece of paper where we wrote on it what we need, which is 66 long adjuster clues, black casing to black casing. He thinks they have it. Okay. It's worth going, right? Yeah. If not, we still got the other option. editing in this one. <laughs> I've spent so much time editing, but it's worth it. A million views since we started. Thanks, guys. You're the greatest. So after a week of struggles, we finally were able to get cameraman's bike fixed. We finally had a custom clutch cable fabricated and it got here and now that we're leaving bike week on wednesday he's finally able to take so this is the bike shop i mentioned crank and chrome that we towed cameraman's bike to and ended up fixing the bike but there's another shop that i really want to thank and that is actually a shop here in maryland little hops they went out of their way to help us have a cable fabricated and drop shipped here overnight um, from Monday to Tuesday so that we could get cameraman's bike back and so that I could make it home in time for some depositions and other legal obligations. So I am so grateful to them and would just say if you are in the Sykesville, Maryland area, please go and check them out because they were just fantastic. I wanted to use this episode to just recognize all the small businesses that went above and beyond for us. As I've mentioned before, being a small business owner, I am very passionate about helping out other small businesses and acknowledging those that do a truly fantastic job. Stay tuned for our next episode, which will be a moto boat camping adventure to Key West. We did end up being able to rent cameraman a bike and to ride to Key West. It was a fantastic time. We went motorboat camping, so we camped out in a boat and we taped the whole thing. I think you guys will really enjoy that. It's pretty amusing. I appreciate all of you guys so much. As I mentioned, we did reach a million views and that's all because of you. So thank you for your support. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate all the kind words and all of the feedback. If you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe. Tune in on Thursday. And until then, ride safe.